Hi Taurus, it's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We will look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. The arrow master hitting the mark intention and detachment hitting the mark intention and detachment so the one thing let's see if i can get this here the arrow master hitting the mark to hit the mark it requires you know practice it requires focus and um you know attention to detail attention to everything affecting how you're pulling back that arrow and how you're going to release it and so you really your mind and your muscle memory have to match up well you know this is setting the intention and setting your mindset into achieving your goals and whatever mark that you choose whatever height that you want to scale you know you have to think of it first you have to do the legwork and put in all the energy and the effort to have the ability to make it happen and so uh you know hitting the mark the arrow master is someone who is has laser focus and is willing to put in the time and the devotion into hitting the bullseye. So hitting the mark, you know, begins with your intention, begins with where you're starting from. How are you visualizing what you want to accomplish? How are you, um, you know, putting it in perspective and in, into the parameters of your life? Of can you, do you have the time that it takes to master? what it is that you want to accomplish. So, you know, hitting the mark and the intention are two really powerful words or statements because uh, you need both in order to be able to be successful. You need both to be able to reach that bullseye. Now, what's interesting is this detachment. When you don't reach the goal, you have to detach. You can't let it destroy you and you can't let it upset you or derail you. You know, it's just part of the process, which is sometimes the arrows are going to miss. You're going to miss the target. And, you know, you just take another arrow from your pack and you practice and you keep going for it. And so that's the intent, that's the having the intention and of hitting the mark requires repeated tries. And so there's a lot going on within this card and within this thinking for our mind for the week, which is uh, do your best, visualize, create the mindset that you need to be successful and uh, go ahead and hit that mark, but if you miss, it's okay. Step away from it, detach, take a rest, take a breather, and then get back to it. And don't let the missed arrows, uh, you know, stop you from reaching for your dreams or for your success in life. The things that you want to build, the things that you want to create lovely card actually that's a really nice card so in terms of body uh, this is the Doreen virtue healing cards improving health Thank you for your comforting reassurance about this situation, dear Archangel Raphael. Improving health. It's kind of broad, 
which is good perhaps, and particularly for this week coming after the holidays in the U.S. and, you know, the fervor of the upcoming holiday as well in December. Um, take little steps to do things to help you, which is getting enough rest, going to bed at a reasonable hour for you, and everybody needs their own amount of sleep. There isn't a set number for everybody. You have to do what's right for you. Eating healthy, organic, uh, greens, uh, green smoothies, whatever it may be, maybe moderately drinking alcohol, moderate consumption of caffeine or sweets or sugars. Just be temperate in how you approach food and, and diet. And improving health can also be doing things that bring you pleasure. Because happiness and joy are important because, you know, it just makes your, your life feel more full, more satisfying. And if your heart is happy, then, you know, your body's going to be happy as well. So, um, rest, do what it takes to recover, spend time with loved ones. Take whatever medicine you have to take. Do whatever you do that you have to stay health, stay healthy. Exercising, going for walks, some lift weights, whatever it is, some soul cycle. Find what works best for you, something that you can do. And just be mindful of all the pieces that go into our health, which is rest and nutrition and engagement and happiness. Uh, and you'll be on the path to greater, you know, improved health, a little piece each day. You know, you can't, it's hard to do big jumps like this. Just do a little bit each day to make your health, you know, stronger. So in terms of spiritual uh, self or your emotional self, these are the, uh, I believe they're John Holland's spirit cards. I really like them. I think they're really nice oracle cards. Dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. So dreams are really a gateway to a lot of things that are going on underneath, underneath the surface within our life. Some people can remember their dreams and, and can tell you in great detail. Others, like me sometimes, I can't remember anything. But I do recall big dreams that I've had throughout my life, really strange dreams, you know, that have lingered and that I have not forgotten. So when those things happen, I believe that they've come to us for a reason. And again, it is spirits. It's our self subconscious talking to us, trying to tell us something or to be aware of. Sometimes the same people show up in your dreams time after time, and you're really not involved with them anymore. And so it's always fascinating to say, what, what were they doing in my dream? What is that about? What is it about? I don't know. If you know, tell me. But, you know, dream talk. Listen to your dreams and tune into your intuition and the messages and everything around you. And, you know, this is uh, Sometimes when we have dreams of loved ones that have passed, they can be comforting because it's just it, it's just a little signal to your brain not to forget and to bring them back. And it's a touching, can be a touching moment. So 
Um, I always loved it when I would have uh, dreams of my father, my late father, and uh, and hope that he comes and visits in dreams because that's awesome. So it's uh, it takes uh, perhaps an increased perception to remember dreams and just to really the minute you wake up and if you had it there jot it down keep a notepad by your bed or you know talk into your phone or something in your voice recorder and dictate what you recall about your dream dream journals are interesting and dream symbolism i haven't really read much about it but i think that that's something that i'm going to pursue as well and just kind of read in my spare time i think it's fascinating and um very very telling so now i'd like to pull a uh a let's see a a how about a, a theme for the a theme for the week. Let's do a theme, a weekly focus. These are the power of love cards. I love them. Okay. Present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. I can hold that up. There we go. Living in the present moment, being present for your friends, for your loved ones, for colleagues, for your pets, for everybody, of engaging and not sleepwalking through life or mumbling or grumbling, but really uh, looking at people in the eye and saying, hi, how are you? How are you? You know, how are you really doing? Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. But to really be there. And, you know, you get so much more out of those interactions when you're there, when you are focused, when you're listening. And then it's your turn to share and, and they're listening. So being present is just a fabulous um, thing to think about and to meditate on is how to increase your ability and your capacity for being present in aspects of your life with friends, family, partners, uh, you know, all being present to your career. You know, are you focusing and giving what you need to that, but in terms of a balance of life, of where it doesn't go to the extreme where you're, you're so overworked, you can't be present for your, your wife or your husband because you're, excuse me, stressed out from the office. So being present is, you know, being loving, being open to receiving love and to giving love listening and caring about others. So I think that's a gorgeous message for the week. And finally, here's just kind of a practice area that we can use and think about. And uh, these are the soul coaching cards, I think by, I think they're Denise Lins. essence in my essence I am joy so these are simple straightforward messages let's get a little closer in my essence I am joy be who you are celebrate who you are um, let people see you for who you truly are are in life and trying to be something that you're not never works and ultimately it's revealed so to have put on to put I think the words putting on airs 
just be yourself and do the things that bring you joy. And if it means dancing around in your kitchen at night or your living room to your favorite songs, if it means singing Broadway songs in the car as loud as you uh, like to do, or hiking, you know, to the highest mountain every morning, you know, be who you are and be comfortable who you are and people will gravitate to you. People will see you for the beauty that is in you. And, you know, when you are able to do what brings you joy, people can feel that radiance. They can feel your positive energy. And it's a beautiful thing. And, uh, you know, it's, I think it's, it could be finding your element. So if your element is skiing, if it's playing guitar, if it's um, sewing, or uh, helping others of being of service, find your essence and um, find the joy and share the joy of who you are with everyone. So in looking at these cards, what really uh, what really calls to me is something a, a big thing, a couple big things. It's really the arrow master for our mind, the intent and the hitting the mark. And if we don't hit the mark, it's okay. There'll be another time to hit the mark. You know, it's detaching from the times when we miss the mark the dream talk as well listening to our dreams tuning into our psychic self and everybody has the psychic uh, abilities you have to open them up and you have to access them and allow them to come through and being present when you are present and you're sharing your essence you know you are bringing joy and a lot of love to others. So I think these are great cards for the week. So I hope that you found something helpful here uh, for mind, body, spirit connection. I hope that you have a lot of peace and joy and happiness for the week. And if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. And if you're new to my channel, then please consider subscribing. It's a great way to show support and um, put up a lot of videos that you might be interested in. So go ahead and subscribe. Have a great week. Many blessings to you for happiness and good health and joy. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.